her prodigious output, five albums, four mixtapes, three EPs and countless other hits for other artists, has pushed the boundaries of what commercial music can sound like, balancing her undeniable pop instincts with rebellious, alien production. That versatility has allowed her to straddle two worlds, touring stadiums with Taylor Swift, while cultivating an audience of pop connoisseurs for cutting-edge tracks like Vroom Vroom and the appropriately titled Next Level Charlie. With her latest album, Crash, she combined the two approaches, making what she jokingly referred to as a major label sellout record. For the first time in her career, Charlie let outside writers pitch ideas to her, and incorporated classic songs into her own compositions, used to know me riffs on the Robin S. House classic Show Me Love, while Beg For You borrows the melody from September's Cry For You. That's not normally something I would do but I was like, okay, if I'm gonna make a major label album, in the major label way, on the last album in my major label deal, then I should probably just do it, she says. But the idea went deeper than playing by the rule book after a decade of scribbling in its margins. Imagine if this entire album campaign was just a commentary on navigating the major label system and the sadistic nature of pop music as a whole? She tweeted to her fans in January. From the music to the visuals, the album makes a point about the ruthless way the industry treats young, female artists. In the past, Charlie has accused her own record label, Atlantic, of delaying her releases and trying to manipulate her image. She also recalled a meeting where her bosses urged her to post more relatable content to her social media accounts. They were like, we just need you to post every Tuesday about your flaws and maybe you could post some pictures with dogs, she told Dazed's A Future World podcast. I stormed out. I was like, this is ridiculous. It was crazy. That's not real. The album she was recording during her soup phase was a six-week pandemic project called How I'm Feeling Now. Created with input from her fans, it ended up being nominated for the Mercury Prize, while Crash is her highest charting record to date. After years of working on the periphery of the mainstream, how does that feel? It's still a shock to me, and it's quite stressful because I'm like, oh crap. What do I do now? I feel like the narrative around my work has often been, she's one step ahead or, she's pushing the boundaries and no one ever quite gets her. So to achieve these things feels really special and unique, and it's something I feel like I've achieved with my fans. But at the same time, what does it mean for me? Maybe I really will have to pursue soup more seriously.